peripheral and uh, video to my goggles, but I had reached the built-in uh, highest point that the drone can go because from my house I'm climbing, even though my AGL, so my above ground level, isn't that high. It's adding from where I took off to where I ended, so that becomes quite a climb. So, kind of a bummer. It's the one problem with uh, flying in the high country. So, here I'm, uh, I think I just changed it into manual mode. I tried to keep my speed. Um, unfortunately, this doesn't give speed. But it'll at least, it'll at least give me the distance. But I tried to keep my speed on the way there around 40 to 50 miles an hour. And then on the way back, uh, most of the trip back, I was running about 60 to 70 miles an hour. I basically flew um, exactly where my line of sight was. Um, so you can see right near the end of the flight, there's a little mohawk of trees. You can see where I touched the screen right there. And that was what I was aiming for because I could see that perfectly from the garage. I was flying right up with my garage door open, um, had a little table set up to fly from. interesting I'm not seeing the stick input at all I don't know what's going on with that I guess it's I guess you can see a little bit of blue there right there and there must be <laughs> so there I got my low battery returned to home um, four minutes and 21 seconds into the flight, actually less than that because uh, of the idle time sitting there before I took off. So about four minutes in, I had it was telling me it was like 75 percent battery. And it told me to uh, oh, you can see up there, so 68 percent battery, 67 percent right here. You can see the battery that I had. So it was like 75% battery when it told me to, to turn around to be able to make it back home. I pushed out further but, and then so what did I get to? 44, 60 aircraft braking. So 45, 20 height of 501 meters but it wasn't not that's just uh, from where I took off to that point oh yeah 4,500 and something meters is how far away I flew so we'll have to see what that is in mileage but it should be close to two miles uh, would be my guess so here on the way back I didn't really have it's a lot harder to have that line of sight to the gar garage because I obviously can't see it so I, I headed a little bit uh, southeast and then corrected at the end.
right in here I'm I'm going about 70 miles an hour and you can see my battery starts dropping pretty quick so in the last uh, quarter mile or so I think I slowed it down quite a bit I also dropped in uh, elevation right about here I, I realize I'm a lot higher than I want to be and I start dropping in elevation Three, 370 meters somewhere in here I start dropping there we go see it drop in there so I realized I was a lot higher than I wanted to be It's a bummer they don't show speed. So as I hit the neighborhood, I had like 26% battery, I think. Oh yeah, if you look up here, 25. So I knew I had a little bit of extra, so then I went around uh, Chase's backyard. So basically at my furth furthest point out, I was locked with uh, radio and video signal. The weak link at this point with the DJ FPV, FPV is, uh, is battery. Um, DJ, that's, you know, that's about as far as you can fly and get back home with the current battery that's on there. So. Hopefully the, there's talk about the DJI FPV version 2 and I would imagine one of the big things that they would do would be to uh, increase that flight time.